a Mystic Mind is the best version of Mystic Mind in the game. You a Mystic Mind. You might be thinking, yo Trip, how the hell did you come up with this one? You know what? I don't even know. I, I actually, my brain is too big for my own head. Uh, while I was streaming, a wonderful fan decided to donate $20 for me to break you away. And you know what I did? Cause I didn't just make a tier five deck. It's actually legitimately tier two slash 1.5, the best version of Mystic Mind in the game with an exact game plan to OTK your opponent into oblivion. And you know what? Your opponent never sees it coming because they spend 90% of the time reading the UA cards. This is the combo tutorial. If you guys like the video, let me know in the comments below. At 500 likes, I'll release a deck profile for this video. And I I'm just amazed. Look out for yourself in action. Just strength work us right now. UA mine is it, just, un it, it's unbeatable. There is a game plan behind the UA mine deck, okay? It's not just a random summon mine and do nothing deck. It's a, it's a game plan where you use mine to stall, then you OTK your opponent into oblivion. Okay, so the is my first split work us here. We're gonna let us do his entire combo because we don't really care. So if you look at this hand, okay, you play, the whole point of the deck is this. It's a go second deck, okay? It's go second. You have 30 cards in your deck that must be negated. They, or else they'll pop out like a vortex or something. Like, let's say I'm facing Thunder Dragon, okay? There are 30 cards in this deck that say, destroy Hot Red. So they're gonna have to negate it. Or not negate it and let it die, minus one negate. Hence, letting your Mystic Mind hit the board and you win. There are nine Mystic Minds, draw one and you win. It's literally that simple. If you don't draw Mystic Mind, you play normal, you wait for 30 cards out of going second. Super polys. You have nine Dino Wrestlers, and I'll explain as the game goes on how you go into your Dino Wrestlers. And again, hey guys, hit the subscribe button because at 500 more subscribers, I'll release the amazing deck pop off of this list. And I'm just, I love this list. I tested nonstop with it. And you're gonna see an OTK I have with UAs and why UAs are the best version of mine. So essentially, I'm gonna let him do his whole th his thing. It's a bit more cause I don't really care what the hell he's doing. Uh, the end board here, the end idea, is whatever he does is irrelevant because no deck could play, no, like, Salamangrate, Pendulum, Orcus, Thunders. The four of the five best deck, only one is not being, it's strike, uh, Strikers, but versus Strikers, you just play, uh, you side into, like, 12 cards that destroy them, and you take up Mystic Mind Engine for that. But versus the other four, just auto win versus them, you just can't lose. Even going first, even this hand going first is great, you just set this, you win. <laughs> like. Anyways, we're gonna keep going the whole, like, it is amazing. So, I don't care what he does. So he has two set here, okay? Crescendo, a call by the grave, a babble, whatever, okay? Typical, I don't, uh, Orca, or whatever. He did opted not to go for, for top of logic. Not that I care, but I'm not gonna show you guys true greatness. Now we're gonna draw evenly matched. Now, like I said, you play, this is the typical, the typical board in, uh, hand in this deck. So you play, what UA's OTK is simple, okay? There are about 10 cards for UA's that you could search. You play, Four midfielders, there's so many searchers in this deck. There's so many of them. Fully burial goods, field spell searches, so much searchers in the deck. So essentially, you just stall with Mystic Mind. You play a bunch of cards that stop the Mystic Mind from not resolving, and until you get two of the searchers. And then two of the UA searchers equals FTK. OTK, sorry. It'll do 8,000 damage, and I'll show you if it comes up in this duel. So here, we're gonna little by little bait everything. I'm gonna pop the Lungir suit because I don't care. Uh, he only needs one monster on board. He opts to use the Gears right away. Uh, so before I attack, so that's fine. So but when, before I attack one Gears, uh, he's gonna uh, use the Gears to pop the Dino Wrestler. I'm like, okay, that doesn't matter. Uh, and now at this point, he's Dino Wrestler to pop the Crescendo because I know where Crescendo is. I just see just how many ways they get rid of it. So one interruption, two interruption. Super Poly gets rid of all the interruptions, but whatever. Four, they're gonna need, like, no matter how many negates they have, Mystic Mind's resolving. And every hand, even if Super Poly was just a Regeki or a Dark Hole or something like that, uh, which you have a lot of as well in the deck, you have one, two, three, four, five. Here, they're gonna need six spell trap negates. No deck in the world has that. And until you draw your UA cards, and then you win. So look at this now. He's gonna call by the grave with a Dino Wrestler. That was great. Now I still have the crescendo. Now I, I could easily super poly his entire board here, still attack, save the evenly matched, and uh, but I want the crescendo and all that gone. I'm like, you know what? I just want Mystic Mind on the field and win. I'm like, forget super poly. I'm literally gonna evenly match for a bait. He's gonna have to negate it and then I Mystic Mind and win. He can't do anything. I can literally pass until he decks out and I win. I'm up three cards and I'll win. But I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll just wait now. Now you just wait. As I said, you just wait until you draw your cards. You keep playing. 
All right, you keep playing. You, you just, you, there we go. These are the UA cards you don't want to drop, but the OTK is simple. You Penalty box and midfielder is an OTK. Penalty box searches penal, uh, jersey, and jersey is, bro, is, so you need the field spell. So field spell, yeah, you're gonna see for yourselves, okay? So penalty box, what this essentially does, is searches any UA spell. UA spell, you can get pen, uh, the jersey, which is amazing. Let's you attack twice and boost its attack by a thousand. It, it just I mean, and does double double damage like it's just so easy to otk with it so you're just gonna wait i'm gonna wait a little bit more here because i want to make sure i have otk through hand trap as well now you got signing deal you're good so signing deals like an e but you need the two cards you need is simple you need power jersey and you need dunker so what dunker does is 2100 attack and when it destroys a monster it'll do uh it does, it does piercing damage and it does it destroys a card in the field so over here now look at this so 2100 we're gonna get rid of Mystic Mind, but I have another one just in case it gets multiple hand traps. You bring a Dino Wrestler with a uh, Dino a World Dino Wrestling. Uh, you summon this a little bit. Let's just summon everything now, okay? If you don't know what UA cards do, don't worry. I'll talk about my deck profile. That would do now double damage and when it and piercing in case you have defense versus monsters. Attack, attack, and super poly my own cards for uh, one of the guys who do 3,000 easy game. It, it, easy OTK and you have so many field spells. You get rid of mine. You can shut off mine whenever you want. Now the next game. Look at my hand. So uh, I should have Storm Dancer should have been Twin Twister. I knew that his only negate for Mystic Mind was Crescendo, but I thought there was a chance to let me go first. You know, make me go first, and there just wasn't enough cards in my deck that are good going first. So I'm like, fuck, screw it, whatever. I'll just put Duster in. There's not enough cards in the deck that are good going first. So I just thought I was gonna set five and uh, <laughs> have a UA. Like UAs also have its own negate. They have their built-in negates, which I'll show you guys as the video goes on. So over here, look, I have one. So I have two cards that must be negated, but signing deal is an e tell signing deal and UA midfielder. Uh, signing deal is also must be negated because it's an emergency teleport from the deck that I'll bring out a 2100 attack guy to attack another negate. And with midfielder, I'll be able to get rid of another negate. So that's four negates already. So you must get rid of these because they all get rid of interruptions on their own. I'm telling you, my midfielder is amazing. UAs are amazing. So he's gonna do his own his board here. I don't care what he does. Orcas, like I said, doesn't matter even if it's a normal thunder board. Oh, then you play the Dino Wrestlers because if you face Pendulums and they have Dragon Pit in their scale, knowing what you play, they're gonna neg their board to make sure they have Dragon Pit to end it. You basically put a Mystic Mine and a Dino Wrestler and then a standby phase, you pop the Dragon Pit. So your Mystic Mine will always resolve. That's why you play nine Dragon Pits. You have three Foolish Burial Goods for the Field Spell. That brings out Dino Wrestler, that's four. You have two, uh, the Field Spell itself, you have two searches for the Field Spell, at six, and the three Dino Wrestlers, that's nine. It's just so good. I can't wait to show you guys a deck profile. It's absolutely insane. So he puts up with this weak ass board. I'm like, bro, what the hell kind of shit is this? Now I got like, come on, bro. You're better than that. You, you could definitely do better. But that's all he did. I'm like, okay, I'm going to evenly match for fun anyways. Uh, he got rid of the, I know evenly match was incorrect there. I could have Mystic Mind, call it a day and just won. In fact, I could have Mystic Mind. I didn't even have to Mystic Mind. I didn't have to evenly match. I could have just, like, he had no, like, I could have easily win. I'm like, oh, whatever. Uh, so we're gonna go little by little here. I'm gonna go block backer. What block backer does is whenever your opponent, so this is the built-in UA negates, okay? I could have got two negates on board if I wanted to with this sign deal, but I didn't want to overextend too much. I wanted to summon more monsters than me so I could mystic mine him. So I didn't want to do too much, okay? But this is where the UA uh, part comes in. When it's an accept when it's a game state where your cards are evenly matched, when it's a simplified game state. Evenly matched, dino wrestlers, super polys, they're gonna destroy your opponent's whole board, mystic mines, etc. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna destroy your opponent's entire board until eventually you're left with a midfielder getting pluses. The field spell, which I couldn't resolve yet in this match, basically lets you add a UA monster from your deck to your hand every single turn you normal summon. So essentially, midfielder is gonna end, field are gonna plus you forever in a simplified game state after you're left in a state like this, and you're gonna have one card negate. So what Blockbacker does is, you normal midfielder, special Blockbacker, bring midfield back to your hand. Normally when you have the field spell, you have plus one from it and keep going. And what it does is, Whenever your opponent's pressing with a monster, you can change their battle position and negate their effects. So it doesn't stop blink effects, but it stops everything else and it negates their effects, which is huge. So it's essentially like Phoenix Chain, but instead of uh, stopping them from attacking, it puts them in defense, which is like the same thing, which is huge because now you can protect your field on top and negate their effect. So now you're gonna go connect it, and you saw that just how good it was. They have another negate called Perfect Ace. With Perfect Ace, what it does is discard a card from your hand, negate, and destroy a card they control. So a block breaker negate that. He, I'm like, okay, I'm good. Now, in this situation, I'm like, okay, I could extend, overextend a little bit. I could do a lot of damage. I'm like, you know what? Why not? I could have wait for him to summon more monsters to Mystic Mine, but I'm like, let's just, let's just do what we can. I'm gonna pop Babel with Dunker. So what Dunker does here, 
It's darker whenever it, it does piercing damage, and whenever it, it destroys a monster, whenever it does piercing damage, which are whenever it inflicts damage, and it does piercing damage, destroy a card in the field. So we'll pop Babel, and we're gonna get two negates up on board after. So we're gonna do as much of damage as we can here with doing some UA shenanigans. Not much, but again, you, you just wanna make, because the card you bring up from UA signing deals, that emergency teleport for the deck, has its effects negated. So what UAs do is they're like Licorice and Candina. They're, they're like Licorice. A uh, midfield is basically just Candina and the field spell. It's like the old trick stars that are better. The field spell is supposed to be the Candina that switches every single turn. And the midfielder just, is like Licorice that brings every, but they all have Licorice effects, bringing them back back and forth. Now, Dunker is going to do piercing damage, destroying the Babel. I know you can bring it back to his hand if he wants, but whatever. He'll have to uh, get rid of a card then from his hand. And do as much damage as possible. And then at the end, I'm going to uh, usually, and this would have been game by Field Spell, because Field Spell boosts him up by 500 attack as well. Uh, and I would have plus a card from Field Spell and do damage, but I'm just kidding. Can I, I, didn't, I didn't see field, the Field Spell is fine. Uh, so we're going to now use their effects to put Blockbagger back in defense. We have a perfect ace there, midfielder, and we're good. And Blockback is going to protect them from attacking midfielder. We're going to build a, a one negate anything with perfect ace and a put anything he has in defense. So what, he, what is he going to do? He's going to sum. He's going to do a planet uh, scrap recycler. What this does is it, it's a one card Orcus combo. So I'm like, oh, that's not happening. And negate it with Blockbacker. Now anything else he does, I'm going to negate with perfect ace. And next turn, win the duel. So as you see, UAs by themselves are actually great in engine of itself. It actually does something. Like you have two negates on board just from two cards very easily. Then the Etelies and they have their, the Etelies are searchable. So I need to be searchable by the Foolish Barrel of Goods. Uh, it is amazing. Like this deck's amazing. So he's gonna set two and then boom. <laughs> just get wrecked, bro. Why does it just gonna destroy him? There are buffs anyways. He needed this to resolve by too many gates up. And now here he's gonna easily win. Uh, the metaverse, there we go. I have two missing minds as well that I didn't even need to activate. So even if he had other stuff going on, uh, if my evenly was too much, I would have missed to mine him easily. So here we're just gonna OTK easily, piercing damage, win for four UAs on board, spam the board UAs, and that's game. Like UA Mystic Mind, doesn't matter what deck it is, it just, you have 30 cards that must be negated, you mine them, and then you stall until you have an OTK, which is Dunker and Power Jersey, which is 4,000 attack, attack twice, so 8,000 attack, plus it does double piercing damage and does double damage. So it's essentially 16,000 attack, piercing damage, essentially. And you could flood the board easily. Dino Rustler, you get another monster on board to attack more damage on board, like depending how big their board is. And you super poly your own board after you after you do as much damage to win. So it's like, you OTK them into the game. That's the deck, 500 more subscribers will release the deck profile. Hope you guys liked the video, hit the subscribe button, let's go and see you in the next video, peace. The deck's honestly great, like I'm not joking. It's a viable competitive deck. I can 100% consider it tier two. It's a mist, just the best Mystic Mind version, I think, after Sky Striker. That's like basically, you're not even playing Mystic Mind, you're playing Sky Striker, but it's on par with it because the engine itself actually does some cool stuff and OTK so easily while stalling with the uh, Mystic Mind. It's amazing. If you guys like the video, hit the subscribe button. If you guys like the video, let me know. We'll do more duels with it. You know what? Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll take this deck to ICS. Hope you guys like the video. See you next video. Peace.